And the truth is what we're seeing right now is something that we've never seen in recent history. White nationalists coming out publicly, espousing their views, and then running for national office in historic numbers. But the question this morning is, why do they feel emboldened now? Why do they think this is their year to win? But a warning to some of our viewers, you may find the following language and these views pretty offensive. Hi, my name is Art Jones. I'm doing a little early campaigning. Arthur Jones is running for Congress in Chicago's 3rd District. I received over 70% of all the votes from the Republican Party in the March 20th primary. Once a member of the American Nazi Party who denies the Holocaust ever happened. The Jews were wailing and howling about 6 million Jews, 6 million Jews. Ridiculous. He's also one of at least eight white nationalists running for state or federal office this year, according to the Southern Poverty Law Center. He's campaigning to make Chicago's neighborhoods at least 90 percent white. Most white people want a white neighborhood. Do you think that black people are genetically inferior? The average IQ of a black person is about 20 points lower than the average IQ of a white person. I went to Harvard. All right. And you've got a lot of white blood in you, too. Some white blood. I'm African American. Well, that's where your intelligence is coming from, I think. <laughs> you think it comes from my white side? I think so. Many locals can't believe Jones is even on the ballot. This angers me so much to see such ignorance and yeah. such hatred. That it takes it, all my. That makes it mutual. Anti hate groups say the number of white supremacists Hi, running for office this year is higher than ever before. Many of them running on the Republican ticket. We're seeing something we've never seen before. Why do you think that is? Well, I, I think we have a tone that has been set during the campaign and the presidency of Donald Trump that some would say creates a, a sent a dog whistle, a signal uh, to these types of, of groups and individuals. Like Patrick Little, who's running against Senator Dianne Feinstein in California. Did you vote for President Trump? Of course. Why? Because he dog whistled about globalists. I didn't understand he was talking about Jews until after the election. Little attended the alt-right rally in Charlottesville and is seen here dragging and spitting on the Israeli flag. The Republican Party says it doesn't want anything to do with Little or Jones. We're a nation of communists. But the candidate supporters say this is exactly what they think will make America great again. It's not because we're racist. It's because we feel marginalized and we're the ones who are being oppressed. All right, so the Republican National Committee says there is no place for white supremacy in this country. But the reality is, in a lot of cases, this ideology can translate to action. Anti-hate groups say the number of hate crimes has jumped up 20 percent last year in major cities. And the number of people killed by white supremacists doubled in 2017 compared to the year before, guys. Morgan, I, I think we all were sitting there marveling your restraint in, in hearing some of that. Um, and I think, you know, as hard as it is to hear, people need yeah. to hear it especially when you say that these, these numbers are rising. Thanks for saying that, Savannah. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Morgan. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.